Uh, so Ryan, is 2023 going to be the same as 2022? What do you think? I mean, so so far, looking at the way things are going, uh, yes, but in a different way. Okay. So uh, lack of inventory, so supply and demand is really what's what's driving the market up the way that's going now. And we've saw another increase of, of 6% this year too um, on home value. So 2021 was more of, you know, the, the low interest rates driving every buyer to the market. And uh, right now it's it's due to lack of inventory, which is causing it. I think it's interesting, the, the rates have come down almost uh, Renee and I bought an investment property up north and we paid 3.75%, right? And we did that in Q4. And then now, and I'm not comparing apples to apples here, um, but you know, if you're to walk in as a, as a normal, decent credit buyer, you're paying six and a half to six and three quarters. That's coming off of seven plus, right? And I think the biggest challenge we'll have this year is, you know, it'd be really interesting to see what happens because if we can get rates lower, it's like this double-edged sword of it gives all the buyers more buying power but what it also does is it gives the sellers the ability to move out of their three percent into say either five and a half or you know somewhere in that range if we can get the rates down to that which is still a full percentage um but we could have a lot more inventory come on the market if that's the case right so it's like this this double-edged sword and they've been predicting this inventory squeeze forever and I think just dropped because we're not building enough houses. And as a result, we weren't building enough and then all the rates being refi, basically 80% of America was eligible for refinance. And so if you could, you did. Um, and now that's gonna keep people stuck in their homes for longer. I right? agree. I shouldn't Absolutely. say stuck, because they're not stuck. Um, they're choosing they're to. They're comfortable. Yeah. But we looked up a payment today at 300,000 more than what we paid it. 567 or 578 or whatever whatever conventional was in 2020. Um, so it's kind of mind blowing, right? So Absolutely. you look at those payments, um, it's kind of interesting. Um, I think everyone just got shell shocked, you know, when it goes up so high in such a short amount of time instead of, you know, gradually over the years. Yeah, I mean, you and I's parents talk about interest rates in the in the teens, <laughs> right? And right? I paid 16, 17%, you know, and um, I know those days existed, but if they were to do that today, because we've been so conditioned over the last 12, 13 years of, I mean, I remember in 18, the rates hit 5% and it shut the market down. Now, it's a supply and demand issue. If there's not enough supply, there's always going to be a ton of demand. Uh, and we're in multiples on just about everything. If you're not multiples, you're way off your price. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's what we're noticing too, is, is we're not seeing the complete, you know, 50 grand uh over asking or even 10 percent over and it all it's all depending on where they price it too so if they're pricing at the top of where they could be you're only seeing a five to ten thousand dollar increase possibly um but if they price it for that you know ebay auction atmosphere uh we're noticing it go you know much higher than that also yeah yeah i agree with that completely back in uh back in 13 14 i was telling everyone to buy in southeast royal oak and um i had a bunch of people tell me oh that's not a great idea blah 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 and I'll bet all those people wish they would have, <laughs> right? And then Q4 of last year, I know you know this because we're sitting in the meetings together. I'm like, this is the greatest buying opportunity that we've had in the last five years. And sure enough, now we look up and, you know, going into going into June now, um, that was the best buying opportunity the last yep, five yep. years. November, right? uh, November right? December so last year. If you, get a, sure. if you get a message from us telling you to buy right now is the time to buy, like it's the time to buy. And that's, you know, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of, a lot of buyers having to branch out from their original location that they've had planned. So I feel it's better to have your, your pulse on, you know, more markets than, than just the one that you're, you're around or comfortable with. Um, Ypsilanti, Ypsilanti has been, been huge, uh, tons and tons of buyers looking 300,000 and under. So we're branching out into the garden city, you know, Westland area to get mm. things done. It's funny how that works. Right. And sometimes there's a lot of advantages to getting to the, to the next city. Um, and being a part of that, that wave up, right? Oak Park was that way, Ferndale was that way, Berkeley was that way, uh, Madison Heights has been that way. Everyone who wanted originally to buy in Royal Oak and they looked out and they're getting priced out. And then they pushed, Berkeley was the first domino um, and, uh, and all the smart money was buying in Berkeley. Um, and, then, and then it became Ferndale and then it became Oak Park. Um, I can't believe the amount of improvement in Oak Park, Hazel Park now, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. so if you look at that next city, um, 
maybe yeah in this scenario you wanted to buy in royal oak but you're just getting out compete go to the next city down because if you can catch that wave up you're going to see more appreciation potentially 